So we've officially got our jetpacks, but what about our flying cars? They have long been the dream of all kinds of techies, from researchers at NASA to Google's Larry Page. But according to a new white paper, Uber has a plan to fast forward the future and finally make flying cars a reality. Joining us to talk about Uber Elevate is Alex Davies, who oversees transportation <laughs> coverage at Wired. Welcome, Alex. Thank you. It's good to be here on Halloween. <laughs> yes, we should mention it's Halloween. You're dressed right. like Andre Agassi. I dress like this. Yep. I might call you Andre. I apologize. <laughs> That's Sorry fine. That. All right. So Uber's paper says that within a decade, uh, Uber will have a network of on-demand, fully electric aircraft that take off and land vertically. Um, what can you tell us about these flying cars? So the first thing to know is that they don't really exist yet. <laughs> um, and that Uber has no plans to make them exist. What Uber is saying in this project where it put out basically a 100-page technical paper, it says that it thinks that there's a lot of technology that could be ready in five to ten years, ready meaning actually certified by the FAA and ready to carry multiple passengers at like 150 miles an hour over long distances Uber is saying that that's going to be ready and that they want to play a role in catalyzing this technology and bringing it to a point where it can actually be brought to market. So just like they don't make the cars that Uber drivers drive now, um, they are not planning on making these self-driving planes or, yeah, I guess self-driving planes. Exactly. Um, and, to, and to start with, Uber says they'll, they would probably have human pilots in them but they would also have a lot of semi-autonomous software with the goal eventually to go to a more autonomous system, which makes more sense here. But no, they're not, they're not going to make them. And basically Uber's saying, hey, look, we've got 50 million or whatever it is, active users on here, many of whom would definitely love to be able to fly to work instead of take, and take a longer Uber ride. And so if you guys can make the plane so we can get together with the FAA and get this certified, then... We've got a whole demand base and an app that people already have downloaded on their phones. So let's make this happen. So don't now can't you take an Uber like helicopter from some places? Like I forget what it's called, but I feel like I've seen that. Um, isn't that available for now? Just not a self-driving helicopter, but real helicopters. They do that on occasion. They do it. I think it's called Uber Chopper, and they do it more as a promotional bid. Um, they'll do it at things like Sundance or during the summer in New York, they'll offer flights to the Hamptons, but I don't think they really make any money off of that. And that's more just kind of get people excited about Uber. And this is a more serious, well, as serious as flying cars can be, but this is <laughs> more in the vein of this is an actual business idea. So tell us, I guess, a little bit about the technology involved with this idea. I mean, do they kind of have any any ideas about the the mechanisms of how this kind of future is going to work <laughs> exactly? Sure. sure. So the aircraft themselves, Uber wants them to be fully electric, which really helps in cities in terms of efficiency, especially helicopters are not very efficient. They would be fully electric, what are called VTOL aircraft, and that stands uh, for vertical takeoff and landing, kind of like a Harrier jet or an Osprey, which are the big military versions of this, where the aircraft takes off vertically, but they can actually fly horizontally. So it combines the big upsides of helicopter, which are you don't need a full runway to land. You can land on a helipad or really any flat surface with the efficient level flight of an airplane. And so they would have tilt rotors, which means they'd have rotors facing up that once it's taken off would then orient horizontally and so it would fly like a plane. And there are various people working on that kind of technology. Boeing and Airbus are kind of messing around with it. And there's a company called Joby Aviation that says it'll be there. Um, and so it's not crazy to think that this technology could actually be ready in five years. So when I think about like the regulation uh, that drone deliveries have had to go through, I mean, you know, we all know that like Amazon trying to get their uh, Amazon drone delivery, uh, you know, uh, regulated or trying to get through all the regulations by the time they finally did, like their drone was outdated. But then I think about how Uber goes through regulations and they just kind of push through and hope for the best. Like, you know, just, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they took on the cab companies. And so which way do you think this is going to go? So... I asked Uber that question and they basically said that like, look, we definitely have to be cooperative here. 
because a lot of cities may not have rules against like specific taxis, but the FAA definitely has rules and good rules against commercial use of totally new aviation technology. And when I spoke to aviation experts, they said that, sure, like the technology might be ready in five years, but if you think you're going to get the FAA to certify, to come up with rules for an entirely new kind of aircraft, certify it, and then certify enough that you can actually get them into flight, and you think you can do that in five years, you're nuts. And that's going to be the main holdup here is getting the FAA to say, yes, we understand what this technology is. Um, yes, it's safe. And there's a lot of new stuff here. Electric planes are still very new. Planes with semi-autonomous software. Uh, in this context, which is different from the way a regular autopilot works with a really well-trained pilot, that's new. And the idea of landing and taking off, flying at just a few thousand feet at this kind of speed, that's all very new. So there's a lot of stuff the FAA would have to work through. And it doesn't move that quickly. So what do you think Silicon Valley is so fascinated by flying cars? Is it just that we hate traffic or <laughs> what <laughs> do you think it is? We fly over the top of all traffic. I, mean. <laughs> I think, honestly, that's it. And well, that's, that's going to be the main reason anybody wants to get in one of these things, right? Is the idea if you can go from San Francisco to Palo Alto in 15 minutes instead of an hour drive down the 101, that's fantastic. Um, lots of people are going to do that. Uber can make plenty of money of doing that. But what's really exciting here is that this is kind of the Silicon Valley actually doing the thing that people who really love Silicon Valley say it's doing. Silicon Valley, for the most part, is just like kind of meh apps or like super coddling services that you don't need. But if you can make flying cars, if you can make that actually work, like that's that's the Jetsons. That's really making the future. And if you can make people's lives better, that's Silicon Valley doing what I think people really think it should be doing. 